Many Americans across America are preparing for what they perceive to be the end of the world as we know it. Hi, I'm Dave and I'm a prepper. I am preparing for the 3,391,835,420th eclipse because the scientists predict that the sun is going to go behind the moon and never return. And that's a problem. Now think about this for a second. If the sun is gone, that means no one can see. And if no one can see, all the power grids are going to fail. No one's going to be able to work. No one's going to know where they are. And no one's going to be able to see. Dave is a part of the Global Truth Organization that advocates for the end of eclipses. We need to keep the sun where it is. In order to prepare for this impending disaster, Dave is stockpiling flashlights so that he can see when the sun goes away. Now what I have here is several thousand flashlights. I have LED flashlights. These are super high tech. Um, I got some more LED flashlights. I, I got these, this little headlamp thing here. That's pretty nifty. I also have halogen flashlights, xenon flashlights. I also have all these backup candles and lanterns and light bulbs here. Yeah, I'm prepared. Dave goes through weekly training exercises to make sure he's sharp and ready for the worst. What I'm doing now is plucking chicken blindfolded. Uh, my wife says it even makes me better in bed. So uh, I just have to take a word for it. Dave has an elaborate system in place to navigate his yard in the dark. I got a glow stick on every tree. He has several stashes of critical supplies placed underground hidden from plain view. Now every prepper's got to have random shit buried in their yard. This, this is where I keep my food supplies. I have 32 years worth of SpaghettiOs six feet under. Under that there flamingo, I have more flashlights buried underground. In the future, those things are going to be very, very valuable. And trust me, if you control the flashlight trade, you control everything. Under my porch, I have 3,300 yo-yos buried for when I get bored. In case of an enemy invasion, David has a hunting tower in the woods overlooking the perimeter of the property. If you're walking through the woods of Maine and you see this tower, run. Now for the expert analysis. First, let's talk about the odds of a major solar disaster. While solar disasters do happen, it is much more likely to be something related to the physics of the sun versus the sun just disappearing out of thin air. During an eclipse, the sun doesn't disappear. The moon is just blocking it out of our view. Wow, I, I don't know about that. Now let's talk about your preparations. David, while your food source is plentiful, you should consider diversifying your supply. SpaghettiOs do not have enough nutritional value for long-term survival. And while you may have 32 years worth, by year 30, you may not want to eat a 30-year-old can of SpaghettiOs. You don't know what I've eaten, buddy. And trust me, SpaghettiOs are the least of my concern. David, when it comes to your water supply, you didn't even mention it. So we assume you don't have one. The public utilities will be out of commission in the event of a solar disaster and your sink definitely won't work. Damn it, I didn't even think of that. Overall, you get a five out of 10. Please don't hurt us. Five out of 10? Did you even see my rattlesnake collection for when the invaders come? Show's freaking bullshit, man. On next week's episode, we will be focusing on Deborah. Deborah is preparing for a coyote overpopulation. 